For the first time, Saudi women will be allowed to vote and run for office in historic municipal elections on Saturday. The country has faced widespread criticism for its lack of equal rights. Saudi Arabia is the only country where women are not allowed to drive and require permission from male family members to travel, work, or marry. So what's behind the right to vote? The country has no elected legislature. It remains an absolute monarchy governed according to an ultra-conservative interpretation of Sunni Islam. The late King Abdullah introduced the country's first municipal elections in 2005, but only men were allowed to participate. The message that we receive as Saudi women is that uh, we are um, not counted for, we're not worthy, we are not complete citizens. Saudi women campaigned for the right to participate in the 2011 elections. A few days before the vote, Abdullah announced that women would be able to participate in 2015. He died in January, and his successor, King Salman, has stuck to his plans. About 131,000 women have registered to vote, compared to 1.35 million men. Though voter registration is low across the sexes, Saudi Arabia's native population is around 21 million. So what powers will the winners hold? The municipal elections are for local councils that deal with local issues like streets, public gardens, and garbage disposal, so they don't have much power. Two-thirds of the 284 council seats are elected. The rest are appointed by the Minister of Municipal and Rural Affairs. About 900 women have registered as candidates, compared to 6,000 men. And women candidates face a unique challenge when trying to appeal to the large proportion of male voters. Because of the country's strict separation of sexes, women candidates can't directly interact with male voters. So many female candidates are using social media tools, like Snapchat and Twitter, to get around the rule. So what's next? Saudi women will face the same challenges as governing bodies worldwide equal representation in elected positions. Women still make up only a small fraction of the world's elected officials. According to the World Bank, only 23% of seats in national parliaments are held by women.